Okay, here we're going to make a two-axis chart type. Um, notice our data. It's a normal budget, and uh, we have, uh, you know, numbers in the thousands here uh, from January through June, even in the totals. But look at the percent of total column. The, the numbers are much smaller. So I would like to put all of these numbers and even the percent of total on, the, on uh, a chart. However, if I put them on the same axis, these numbers will be too small. You won't even be able to see them. So let's see what we're going to do. First, we're going to highlight the data. I'm going to highlight from A3 over the K9. Then I'm going to pick on the Insert menu. We're going to make a normal column chart. I'm going to pick on Column, and then pick on the first column chart type. Now, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to move the chart a little bit so you can see it, and make it a little bit bigger on the screen with the sizing handle. There's the percent of total se uh, section, but you can hardly even see it because the numbers are too small. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to pick on the design menu, and we're going to pick on switch row and column so that my percent of total is now on the right-hand side. But even though it's on the right-hand side, there should be a green section. Notice again, it's too small. It's not even showing. So I'm going to click here where it says percent of total. Then I'm going to click on percent of total a second time. Now I'm going to right click on the percent of total. And then we'll pick on format data series. Now here's the key. You see right now it's on the primary axis. At this time we're going to put it on the secondary axis. I'm going to click on close. Now, the secondary axis happens to be over here on the right-hand side. Now we can see the percents of total. But there's one more step I would like to do. It doesn't look quite right yet. So I'm going to pick on the green section for the percent of total, and then I'm going to change the chart type for that one section. I'm going to pick on Change Chart Type. Then I'll use one of the line types of charts, and then click on OK. And now that's what I was shooting for. Notice how the green line is on the second axis, and this way you can plot two different types of data at the same time. This is called a two-axis chart type. I might even do one more thing here. I'm going to click on the, the green line, and I would like to show the data points. So I'm going to pick on the layout menu, and then show data labels, and then show above. And if I click away from that section, Notice now we can actually see the numbers for each data point on the green line, and here is what we call a two-axis chart type.